What's up, guys? If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Also, please smash that like button on the video and enjoy the show. Come up to the people. And here's the thing. If the whale starts talking to another whale, when they sing, the volume and the all of the water is vibrating with the whale song. And she said that it vibrates every molecule in your body. I would just like put my camera down, hand my hat and be like, guys, I live here now. Taking right. care of this baby elephant. See, I'm I'm with you. I yeah, I think I it's important it. that we do have people who are able to stomach it, though, so so you can see it. I agree. Know? We need both. We definitely yeah, need, both. We need both. But um, for me, I yeah, if I saw that, no, 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 crazy. That's 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 terrible. The the other one that gets me is whales. I don't. Whales. I they're, they're so fascinating to me. I've never seen a whale. I've never been out yeah. there. It's definitely something I want to do. But you know, learning through Dax, who mm -hmm. we had in here, your your buddy, who's awesome. He obviously has done a lot of work with Sea Shepherd and Paul Watson, who's now separate from them. And you know, it's pretty crazy. Paul basically really yeah. Oh, I didn't Paul know that. Paul basically saved. Some of the whale species. I remember last podcast I had you on, you talked about that. I never put two and two together back then, that mm. it was basically like him who did it through some of these whale war stuff. Are you sure about that? He's separate from Sea Shepherd now. Now he is. Really? Yes. There was like a, I don't know what happened there. Dax is still friends with both of them, but I didn't ask. Because I, I mean, I don't, I don't know those, those guys that much, uh, the Sea Shepherd people, but I know that. I thought I'm pretty sure he was one of the founding members of Greenpeace. Yes, right. That's right. Now, I know he got kicked out of there, and then I know his. I think he was the founder of the Sea Shepherd. I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but then I think you're right he's again. Kicked out of there too. They they Ooh. had some sort Ooh. of there was some sort of disagreement on where, where I was think going next. where some money was going, and I think, but I didn't really ask that um, for details. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to know those details. That's like in that's like uh that's like that episode of Succession where the kids try to take <laughs> take out the father. <laughs> It's yeah. like, nah, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. Hey guys, real quick, if you're not subscribed to our other YouTube channels, we have three total channels besides this one: Julian Dory Clips, Best of JDP, and Julian Dory Daily. They all have different content on it from the podcast, so the links are in the description below. I'd really appreciate it if you gave them a subscribe as well. Thank you. Yeah, I mean that guy's that. been at it forever, man. We have a video up here, Chris. I was just telling him to get it up, but this is for people who don't know. They press play right there. It's perfect. This is like the kinds of things they would do. Get in, get yep, in the middle yep. of these boats that are trying to go whaling and and kill these whales, which Look is really, which Look is really that. brutal. But you see these boats, it's fucking awesome. These boats are like trying Look to at attack the, them, them with running. water. I mean, to actually do that though, to oh, take yeah. your vessel and to smash oh, into yeah. another vessel on the ocean with the ocean moving, dude, it's insane. I mean, you, know, you watch it in a video and it just never, like, if you were on there, you'd be shitting your pants. Oh, like, my God. I would, look at that. Look at how much it. it's look moving. It. But this is what they did. This, they were incredible. And they still do they it to, to stop these That's people. The Bob, the Bob Barker ended, yeah. From killing these. Do we have a video of the eye of the whale, Chris? I don't know if, if we have that. But look too. what it takes. Look what it oh, takes. Yeah. You yeah. can, you can write letters, you can petition, yeah. you can beg, you can plead, but look what it takes. Yeah. To stop them from murdering wildlife. Murdering this. Right murdering press, that. Press play. They're going to shoot a harpoon into that. Look at this thing. Like, that's, it's oh, the same feeling with so an elephant. Weird. How do you look at that in the eye yeah. and kill it? It could swallow you in one gulp. <laughs> and you're just going to be like, yeah, I'll extinguish you from this earth. Oh, look how for your blubber. You know, like, look, at like, that. If, look at that lower jaw with all those folds so that it can expand when they just taking that mouthful of fish have you done any underwater work at all i have not done it i've been honestly i've been so in the jungle that i haven't traveled anywhere for leisure and i haven't done any underwater work i would love to surf yeah even before that i have so many friends that have gotten really good at surfing and i'm just not there yet mm -hmm. i'm always i'm always on, i'm always on the ground i'm always uh, gotta go hang with danny jones he'll teach yeah, you man. he's good at it i would love yeah, to see you beautiful. do that though i think i think you'd I mean, I want to go swimming uh, at, at some point with with some of these animals just to observe it. But so I have a friend who uh, takes people free diving with whales. So you're with a snorkel and you're you're swimming. This is like out in Fiji, 
and you're in the water with the whales and you're di- you're not you know you're just on the surface of the water with your snorkel looking down and the whales choose whether or not they want to come up to you like sperm whales or no humpbacks mm. which are usually more friendly and so but she said these whales come up to the people and here's the thing if the whale starts talking to another whale when they sing the volume and the all of the water is vibrating with the whale song and she said that it vibrates every molecule in your body and she said people a lot of times have to stop what they're doing and come up for air because they instantly start crying because the vibration moves through them and it's so overwhelming and it's so beautiful that they can't handle it it just immediately emotionally breaks you feeling the whale song go through your body and I was like, that's, I, that's I, almost extraterrestrial. I was like, I want that. Yeah. I want to go do that. I want to. I, I wanna, yeah. Sometimes I late at night, six feet from a humpback whale. Late at night, if I'm like really baked, I'll just watch orca <laughs> videos. It's like an obsession of mine. I'll just watch these fucking things. And orca is obviously the killer whale. Like they, these are some. They uh, they know how to get or, some lunch and dinner, right? Dude, but when they they're go, still when they go under the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. It's fucking oh, yeah. like, and they're so smart yeah. and they're so oh, yeah. like when, when you get and you can't experience it through a goddamn TV, anything like when it's there, but it's mm-hmm. even amazing through the TV when they get the underwater footage of them talking from like, I'll forget some of the distances, but sometimes like a mile or two away yeah, yeah. and they can completely have this conversation with each other to find each other. There was, there was some reporter it's all getting mixed up now who like embedded himself with the orcas on one of the what's the island between africa and antarctica down it's like halfway i forget the name of it maybe we can look it up chris but he like embedded himself with this orca community and they and they filmed i think it was scientists yeah through him were filming and following this family for years and years and years and the things like they watched this this family of orcas grow up and everything and and obviously that that taught us a lot about what their abilities are but i still feel like we haven't even scratched the surface no. of what they can do no and the thing that freaks me out the most recent thing that i saw that was very confusing to me was that there was one thing where an orca comes and asks people for help mm. this this i forget how it went this orca came and and was like swimming around this boat and they just got the message somehow. They're just like, you know, they're like, okay, yeah, let's go. And this orca was like, come on, let's go. Brought them, and the mother orca had her tail caught in a fishing in a fishing Whoa. net. And then they called in the coast guard. They called in experts. They went in. They cut her off. But this younger orca knew that the humans could fix this human problem, and went to somewhere completely out of sight to go ask the humans for help. Think of the implications of that. They know that. They're walking around with that knowledge, swimming around with that knowledge. That's 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 scary. If they know that much, think about that. I go. And then if it turns on us because of what we do to some of them. Well, now they're fucking with the boats. Yes, now they're eating. They're literally eating through the goddamn motors. Do we have a video of this? <laughs> Orcas eating through motors of boats. Um, I'm not. I, I don't know a lot about this, so maybe I shouldn't be. They're, no, is it, no. Is it funny? Or are they like Merkin people too? Or are they just kind of messing up property? They're, are they like yeah, vandal? Look, vandal. Look. Vandal orcas. This this one. Go right there, right there, right there. See, they start like coming up, and they've Ooh, learned close. how to eat through to that's to where I'm gonna get close. my terminology wrong for all my boating people out there. I'm sorry, but they learn how to eat through like where the rudder meets the engine or something. Uh huh. And or are they just biting off the rudder? Well, the scientific implications. It's all happening by the Strait of Gibraltar. That's that's where. This has happened a bunch. Yeah. But the scientific implications are that they're wondering if orcas are teaching other orcas pods around the world yeah. how to do this. Almost but what like are they getting from sharks. It? What are they <laughs> What are they getting from it though? I don't They're not getting fish off these people. Well, I think it's the the implication is that perhaps they're pissed at humanity. <sighs> Still too early to tell, to be clear. I but. I would buy that they're mugging us you know like elephants <laughs> elephants will mug the banana guy in india 100 percent. they'll stop him on the road push his truck over take all of his bananas what, what, <laughs> what can he do they do that all the time they do it in thailand too um that's awesome and then i've spoken to fishermen who like you know like they put those long lines down and they have like you know fish on on they have like like lines of hooks and i know the orcas come and they raid those and they know exactly how to do it and they know how to do it without getting 
the hook in their mouth. They'll like grab the fish and just twist it off and leave the head. And like they're they're so smart. It's so amazing. my question is, why attack a boat? Why risk injury? Why pursue? I mean, I know that they have fun, but what at the end of the day, if there's not fish on the boats, you think it's just a generalized revenge for I mean, humanity? It's, it's scientifically way too early to say. I just wonder speculatively if that is they're a possibility. Just like yeah. that elephant. They're just like, you know yes. what? Fuck you. Yeah. I wonder about huh. that because we know how intelligent they really are. I mean, they certainly are teaching. I mean, that's the other thing that people don't realize is that animals have culture. Like one of the most classic examples, the first one, the first time I ever actually heard of it was that the there's certain dolphins that'll chase the fish up onto the beach and then the, the dolphins will come up and hydroplane onto the sand and catch the fish. And if they don't teach that method to other dolphins, then the other dolphins don't do it. And so by definition, it's culture. It's it's a it's a it's a way of doing something. It's a it's a habit that you teach others and then they keep doing it. It's something you pass on. And it's not something that's just a naturally naturally occurring, encoded, instinctual thing that, that just all dolphins do. It's something that a few dolphins learned how to do and now they're telling all the other dolphins. Mm. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.